Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. With all this talk the past several days over the new Content Aware dialog box that is in Photoshop, I'm thinking that maybe some of you that are newer to Photoshop don't know about a simpler, easy to use Content Aware fill that is available. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Over the past several days, myself and several other photographers have been doing videos talking about the new features in the latest version of Photoshop, version 21.1.0. And the, really the main new feature is a modification to the Content Aware Fill dialog box. It now allows you to remove multiple objects in an image without having to keep reloading the dialog box. Well, there is actually an easier, simpler to use content to wear fill that's available in Photoshop that you could use probably in most of your images. And I want to demo that here. Now, first of all, uh, for this image, and this is the same image that I used when I talked about that other content to wear fill, and I'll rehash that in a moment. In this image, I want to remove these branches. I want to remove this branch here and this little branch over here, maybe the shadow up here and stuff like that. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer. And to do that, I'm just going to hit Command J on my Mac. If you have a PC, you hit Control J. Now, um, typically what you would do with that other content where Phil use, you would use like, like the lasso tool to select what you want to remove. And I want to remove this one branch so I could select it like this. And then once it's selected, I would go up to edit and then down to Content Aware Fill. And when you do that, this Content Aware Fill dialog box comes up. And I did this, and I'll have a link to that video where I talk about this. And then you could select multiple objects by hitting Apply. I'm going to hit Cancel. There's actually an easier way, uh, a faster way that will work in most of your images. I selected this branch. I'm going to select the other branch as well. I'm going to hold the shift key in. This will allow me to use the lasso tool on more than one object. So I'm holding the shift key down and I'm selecting this little branch down here. So I have two selections now and I'll select the shadow up here. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'll select up there as well. And maybe this little shadow right here. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and go around that as well. So I have four selections. Now to access that other Content Aware Fill, it's actually in the dropdown in the Fill dialog box. You could get to that by going up to Edit, Fill. And you have this. And then you would go to the dropdown, Content Aware. Now there's a faster way even to access this, and this is the way I do it. Hold the Shift key down and hit the Delete key or Backspace key if you have a Windows computer. So Shift, Delete on Mac, Shift backspace on Windows, and you get the fill dialog box. Go to Content Aware. You don't, uh, right now, don't, what I found most often, it works best if you don't check color adaptation. Don't preserve transparency because we're not working with the transparency and mode normal. And just click OK. And you'll see that it will magically, eventually, replace all those perfectly. Now I'm going to deselect by hitting Command D to get rid of those marching ants. If you have a PC, it's Control D. And you can see it did a pretty good job. I did multiple objects all at once, and that's really the uh, big new thing that's in Photoshop 21.1.0. With the other Content Aware Fill, you could remove multiple things without having to keep reloading that Content Aware dialog box. Well, you could do it very simply with the old standard fill dialog box using content aware in the drop down. Again, that's right here. And it's going to be grayed out now because I don't have anything selected, but you could do content aware right there. So I just wanted to bring this up and put it in a video because I know many of you, judging from the emails I get, are new to Photoshop and you might not know about that. And really that's the content aware fill that I most often use because it's so easy to use. Just select what you want to remove, 
holding the shift key on my Mac, I hit delete. On your PC, hit backspace while you're holding in that shift key. And really, you could do it very, very quickly. And it won't, you won't have to wait for that dialog box to pop up. You won't have to paint in green or remove the green from where you don't want it and all that other stuff. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.